Welcome back to the course on developing a web application with Vadin. So far we have developed most of the non-functional requirements, divided our application in views and created a service provider through which we can obtain container with data. We have also done some styling and layouting. Time to do a bit more. Let's make use of our application and start implementing some real functionality. Let's start with logging in. During that we will learn how to store and clear session information and how to filter containers. We already have a stub for logging in, but it displays a dull notification and does nothing else. On the other hand, we already have a working registration form, which means that the most logical next step is to enable logging in. Let's do so. How do we proceed? Well, in the code responsible for logging in, we could obtain an instance of a container with users and check if there is an entry that corresponds to credentials. It is a very straightforward solution and, as such, it will work. However, it will pollute our UI code with details concerning the structure of the user's container, the way it should be filtered, and the like. The solution is, as you probably guessed, another service in which we encapsulate the implementation details. The UI will just get the service through the provider and ask it to perform logging in. Let's create login service interface with a method named login that takes email and password as strings and returns true or false, depending on whether or not the operation was successful. Let's also create a reference implementation of that service and update our service provider to have our login service available. Since checking credentials requires a container, we should somehow let our reference implementation know how to obtain one. We can do it by just passing an instance of that service during construction time, so that the service implementation can get the container when it needs it. This way, we can also later change our database backend, and our service for logging in would still work, provided that we keep the containers unchanged, of course. One final thing. How do we check credentials? The simplest way is to add filters to the container and then see if there are any items left. Not all containers allow adding filters, only those that implement container filterable. For other containers, we can just iterate over the contents and return true when we find a matching entry. With that knowledge in mind, time to code. All right, it's there. Let's make use of it for now. And just display a notification with results. It seems to work. Great. However, we can log in an infinite number of times and no UI gets updated. We should do something about it. We should replace the login form with a component that holds a button for logging out and repeat that pattern when the button gets clicked. Let's do it based on events. Our login service should broadcast login events in addition to returning true or false. We will need some information about the user that is currently logged in. Let's store it in the login service. Since we are using Vadin data model, we can return an item that will hold the data, or we can create a user class out of the item. Let's choose the latter option, as it gives us more flexibility if we ever decide to change things. That's a lot of coding, but let's do it. There, seems to work when we log in, it also works when we log out. Let's log in and switch to another view. Well, good. How about page reloads? 
oops, that's not what we expected. How do we make our application remember that the user has logged in? That's the topic of the next video.